Hi everyone, it's Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. So today I will be making hummus. It's something I make quite regularly in my house. Uh, I use it to make uh, falafel wraps, uh, sandwiches, um, even salads. Because I find a lot that whenever I want to eat salads, I do not have salad creams. So today I will be showing you guys how to make hummus. I'm excited. So what you need is a chickpeas. You need some chickpeas. You need some tahini. You need some salt. I'm using sea salt today. You'd need a half lemon, some oil, and half a cup of water. So let's blend. What are you waiting for? My chickpeas. My I'll be adding in the dry the the dry ones first. So this would be the tahini and the salt. Then my oil. And then some water. With the water, just add a little bit first. You don't need to add all of it yet. Just a little bit, about maybe half of the half a cup. And then the lime. I usually just squeeze out from the lemon myself and just squeeze it out. Squeeze, if there are any seeds, just take them out gently. So that is it. I got three seeds on my lemon, but I wouldn't put it in. That's it, and then we blend. Excited! Let's go! You can add a bit more water just to ensure that the texture is consistent. This is vegan, also gluten free. So, if you've got anyone who has gluten intolerance in your house, this is perfect for them. I'm really excited about this recipe though because when I discovered hummus, I never went back again. This really saved me a lot of money, saved me a lot of hassle. I became a salad freak. Every single day I could eat salads very easily. So you too can try that out. <laughs> okay, so now the hummus is ready. Just open this your jar, make sure it's dry and clean. We would now pour it in. Some quick facts about chickpeas. Chickpeas is also known as wabanzo beans. In Arabic, they call chickpeas hummus. This is actually an Arabic recipe. They use it on their flatbreads, falafel, and so many other dishes. Voila, your hummus is ready. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. This would last roughly about, depends on how you use it, but for me, it would normally last about three, four days. This should be consumed within five days because after five days, it starts to taste a bit off. You don't want that to happen to you. So, but even after five days, it's still okay. If you smell it and it's fine, you can still have it. But I would recommend within five days, use it. What is this doing in your kitchen? Five for five more days. You should eat it all off within five days. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to, to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Someday I want to make you my wife. Like something of a poster. Is a damn they say.